What's up guys, Rob from Lynch Brothers Gaming here, bringing you a new episode of the Gem Mode Commentary, so let's get to it. In this episode, we gotta go through the off-season. Well, we have to simulate up to the off-season. Uh, we'll check out our contracts, uh, the awards, I'm not gonna forget this time, last time I forgot to do the awards until the episode after, so... This time, we'll simulate up to the awards, um... We'll check out who got better. Hopefully no one got worse. I don't think anyone should. I mean, Molson was playing in AHL, or he was scratched, I believe. So, who knows? He probably, his overall probably dropped beyond belief. But, at this point, uh, I wanted at least 38 wins, and you only managed 22. Blah! What are you going to do, fire me? Gem firing's turned off, punk. <laughs> you can't do anything. I refuse your... Firing. Can you imagine just you're fired? No. I don't think so. What? Yeah, no. I'd, I'd say no. I don't know. I'm just going to keep my job real quick. Whatever. So hopefully uh, Johnny G got into the mid 80s. You know, 83, 84, 85 would be really nice. Um, our AHL team didn't make the playoffs by any stretch of the imagination. So we'll simulate through the playoffs. We'll see who wins the Lord Stanley's Cup. Because, uh,. I want to be competing for that next year. So, uh, if Johnny G didn't progress, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, I might have to trade for a goalie and put him in uh, the AHL for a little bit. But, you know, fingers crossed he got up to what we need him to be. And if not, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, that might be a problem. But I don't think it should be a problem. Um, if he's like 82... Then, yeah, I'll deal with it, but uh, the elite scout uh, wasn't goalies. Was it forwards? Yeah, elite Scandinavia. Two four-star guys in Swiss. Send a scout out for that. Uh, keep on simming. Up to the draft. Uh, well, we might do the draft in this video. Who knows? Uh, we should have another top pick. Um... And I really don't know what we're going to go for. I mean, if we get a top pick, maybe another goalie? I don't think so. We don't need a goalie. I mean, we've got uh, Johnny G starting in net, and um, we got uh, Kevin Poole in to back him up if we need to. So, you know, there's always that. But who knows? So let's see what's going on here. Artem Anisimov is a free agent. All right. Don't need him, really. He should be like... 28 at this point, 27. Ah, oh, your Stanley Cup champions, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Ah, uh, yeah, see about that. See, I don't know if I really agree with that. I mean, obviously the Sim Engine does, but, you know. I don't know. Just, uh, keep my opinions to myself. Being a fan of Atlantic Division team and hearing the Pens won the cup. Uh, <laughs> oy, oy but, you know, I want to see how good uh, Kadri got. You know, hopefully Toronto is playing him a little bit. Uh, let's see, Char is gone. Um, Prospol has gone. Uh, Donors, he's retired on Detroit. Uh, Sergey Gonchar retired on Minnesota. Yogg's retired on our team. Um, Alfie's gone. Um, let's see, anyone else? Uh, McDonald's gone. St. Louis. No. And goalies. Broder and Hedberg. Wow, Broder retired on Montreal. Why Broder was on Montreal is beyond me. But, uh, Kippers is gone. All right, Garon. Cristobal Huey, so, um, we lost some goalies there. That's all right. <coughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. Kippers is gone. He didn't get his Stanley Cup. Oh, Kips. You deserve that one, but, hey, man. So, the day before the drafts, uh, let's see. Uh, scouting. Let's, uh, look who's the top pick is. Uh, looks like Sam Reinhardt's your top pick here. Whoops, alright, yeah. So all skaters, uh, forwards, looks like Sam Reinhardt is up there. 
Uh, we got Victor's Bruev, a sniper, Sam Ardart, playmaker, Nick Betts, power forward. All right, any goalies out there? Because I really don't. We don't really need any. Uh, no, nah, it doesn't look like there's a goalie out there. We don't really need a goalie, but um, it doesn't really look like we need much of anyone else. So um, let's go to contracts. Let's see how people turned out. So uh, Johnny T's 89 overall, excellent. Barch T's 86 overall, excellent. Adams up there. Oposo and Grabner kind of stagnate a little bit. That's all right. Griffin Reinhardt's up there, 84. Oof, oofa. McDonald dropped a little bit. Hamannick, I think he dropped, actually. Simons is up there. Uh, Kadri's still 79. That's all right. Uh, Niederreiter. Ugh, wheel. Come on, buddy. Man, I need you to progress. Pysik, you too. Oy vey. All right, all right. Charlie Coyle didn't get any better either. Neither did Dane Fox. Wow. Rough. That's a little rough there. Yeah, but I mean, one, two, three, four, five. So we have some guys that can hold it down. And goalies. All right, so Johnny G's 81, which is doable. It's doable. He's listed as a backup, but that reflects his category is all right. Um, so it's doable. I think Gibson can get it done at 81. Poulin's is 79. Um, so for this year, we have to sign Kevin Poulin. He's going to want a contract. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Uh, this is the year that it comes up, right? Let's see. No, wait. This year. So we have to sign. Um, uh, Molson. Wow, he's still 82. I might want to play Molson. I said I was gonna trade him away, but I might want to sign him. Uh, we gotta sign Amac. Uh, Niederreiter and Fox. No, just Amac and Niederreiter. 33 mil, man. We are rich. So, contracts aren't gonna be an issue. Let's go into the draft. And let us begin this NHL entry draft. We'll see what pick we have. We should have a top pick. Second and third, and we have the 23rd, the 21st, uh, 22nd and 28th, so... Well, remember, Phoenix. Oh, yeah, I only have one phone. So, we'll go to Phoenix. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Phoenix! Uh, the first overall pick. Uh, we'll give them two firsts. And a first from next year. Uh, cause I really, I mean, I don't really need the first overall pick for next year. Like I said, I want to be competitive. Let's see if it'll go through. Yep. All right. So, I mean, that might've been overextending a little bit. We got the first three picks in the NHL entry draft. Perfect. Get three four and a half star players. Victor Zuboff. A sniper. Turner Popoff. Two-way defenseman. Old draft Griffin Reinhardt's brother, Sam Reinhardt. Get on the team, bud. So there we go. Three. The first three picks in the NHL entry draft go to your New York Islanders. And we'll see how these guys turn out. You know, who knows? I mean, some of our guys really haven't progressed as much, so maybe they'll make a spot on a team. I mean, that uh, defenseman we drafted, who knows? We could use him. So uh, let's see how these guys look. Say that was a pretty successful draft day. Three first over, uh, three first round picks, first, second, third. There we go. That's how you rebuild. So let's go to our contract screen and let's uh, see what's up. So Tavares we have signed, Barch we have signed, Adam we have signed, Poso Grabner are both signed. How much does Molson want? Three mil for two years. Um, how much does McDonald want? Three mil for two years. Uh, Hammers, we got signed. Gunnarsson. We have Carl Gunnarsson. I forgot we picked up him. Might actually use him. 27, over, uh, 27 years of age. Uh, oh, Turner Kopoff, uh 76 overall already. Man, we're getting lucky with these defenseman drafts. I'll tell you that much. Uh, all right, so let's get down to business here. 
So, uh, Tulola, release. You need to retire, bro. $26 million. Uh, let's get Matt Molson back on a team. You know what? We'll take him till he's 36. You know what? I'll keep it. Can I drop his price at all? You know, I'll keep Molson on one way con on one year contracts just in case cuz I don't want to get holed up with the salary again cuz that was a pain. So we'll give Matt Molson 3 mil. Uh Andrew McDonald, I definitely want back on his team. Can we lock him up um 6 years at 3.3 or 3.4. I'll I'll do that. 6 years at 3.4. Ah uh, Grundle, three stars. Yeah, we'll just sign you. We'll just jack up the contract. Why not? Um, Ness, release. Canton, release. We don't need you. Don't need Donovan. Soin two. Yeah, we'll sign Matias Soin two. Why not? Can I jack up your contract? Not really, so we'll just give you that. Uh, Sezikis will release. Dehan release. Hankapa will resign you. I want you back. We'll keep giving you one year deals just in case you have a big overall jump, and that way we can sign you long term. Uh, El Nino, yeah, we'll sign Nino. I'll jack up his contract a little bit. Uh, don't know. Uh, Victor Zubov. All right, he's not ready to go. He's uh, only 68 overall. So, uh, good first overall pick. Um, Sam Reinhardt, same thing. He's not ready to go. Uh, he's only 66 overall, but he will play in either the juniors or our AHL team. This pop-up guy, I'm not sure about, though. He might be able to go. 76 overall, hell yeah, you better believe it. You might be able to go. Alex Forsberg, uh, Fox, we have signed, all right. Goalies. So uh, we got Johnny G, and uh, we'll sign Kevin, whoops, no tender qualifying offer, sign Poolin. Oh, man, his price skyrockets. Yeah, you know, we'll just give him what he wants. We'll give him a one-year deal at uh, 7.5, or 0.75. We'll see if he budges on that. And we'll simulate up a day here. See who we got back coming, see who's not coming back. We're not going to really be dealing with too much salary cap problems at all. Uh, Molson's back. Amax back. Nino's back. All right, Poulin's not back. Grundle, Zubov, Sointu, Reinhardt, Popoff, and Hank. All right. So no wonder didn't sign with Poulin. I guess he wants his flat one mil. We'll give it to him, whatever. He can take what he wants. Anders Nilsson will resign. I'll jack up your contract a little bit, buddy. And uh, I really, I think that's it. Uh, anyone not signed? All these guys we don't need to sign. They're two and a half stars. We'll simulate up a day. They're two and a half stars. They're not going to be anything. There we go. Kevin Pullen and Nilsson are back. So the only people we don't have signed are our draft picks that are two and a half stars. That won't be anything. And we got everyone in goal. Yep. John Gibson. All right. So, uh, how's this video looking? Well, we'll head into free agency in this video. It's a pretty smooth off season for us here uh the New York Islanders. Um we have a uh, we have our guys that we know we have on the team. And our average age is 23.8, so we are very young, but like I said, I really think we might be competitive this year. I mean, we've got a I mean, technically, Johnny G's listed as a backup, yes. But he's in the 80s overall. We have John Tavares, Barchi, and Adam coming along. Our second line might be a little weak, but, you know, who knows. So, uh, let's take a look at who's in the free agency here. We have $21 million to work with. So, unrestricted free agents. Whoa! Ho -ho! Henrik Sedin and Dion Phaneuf? No way! I want both of them, like, now. Oh my god. <laughs> Get on my team, bro. No way. If anything, he can serve on the second or first line. And for Nuff? 
No way, man. Get on my team. Jeez. Uh, can I drop your price if I go down? No. So we'll give you five years. You're going to retire before then. Um, I, want, I need to jack up his price, though. Because I don't want Sadin going to another team, man. And we had the cap. So I'll give you 9.750. I mean, if anything, we can just trade him. So 9.750 for Daniel Sedin and Dion Phaneuf. Get the hell on my team, dude. 89 overall. You better believe I want Dion Phaneuf. And uh, we'll get Dion here for 7.75. Uh, or, you know, we'll give Dion 8. There we go. Wow. I mean, <laughs> these other guys, I mean, they're good, but <laughs> they're not Dion Phaneuf and Henrik Sedin. Uh, Joe Pavelski might not be bad, though. Calgary's interested in him. I mean, oy, 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 oy. because I got to think, got to think smart here. I mean, let's just see if there's anyone with potential. Not really. And uh, goalies, any goalies in the free agency? Vokun, I mean, we could technically get Vokun to uh, be our starter. So Johnny G can go down in the minors. I mean, I, I don't know. See any potential guys here? Uh, not really. All right. So hold on. Let me just. Oh my God. Let me just go to contracts again. So first line. I mean, let's look at it this way. The first line can be Tavares, Barchi, and Sadit. I mean, play Adam on the second line. So Tavares, Barchi, Sadin, Adam. Uh, none of these guys are centers though. Oi. Do any of them have any good face-offs? 60. 65. 69. So, yeah. Maybe uh, Tavares, Barch, G. Adam. Sedin on the second line. So, uh, we'll say Tavares, Barch, G. Adam. Sedin grabbed Mark Poso. Um, Molson, Yonsu, Kadri. Yeah, so we have room on our team for Sadine, no doubt. And then defensively, we could have Fanuf Reinhardt, Hamannik Simons, and then, like, Gunnarsson Amak. Yeah, I mean, we have room for these guys. Is Pavelski a center, though? Because if Pavelski's a center, I want Pavelski. Nah, he's a right wing. And he's 85 for faceoffs, I mean... What did I offer Sedin and the other guy, uh, Fanoof? So I offered these guys... I think I offered him, like, 9.75 and him, like, 8.75. So that's 14. So I have $7 million work uh, left to work with. So yeah, I could get Joe Pavelski. I mean... He's a great, great player, so um, if I get him, I'm going to use him, trust me. So we'll get Joe Pavelski for uh, Calgary's interest in him. So uh, we might not get Cal uh, Joe Pavelski, but that's all right if we don't. Uh, we'll jack up his price, six point. We'll give him seven, uh, 7 mil. I mean, I don't want to lose these guys. You know what, we'll drop it down a little bit. We'll give him 6.8. I mean, these guys aren't going to stay on our team long term. Definitely not Sedin. But, you know... Let's just see if we get all these guys. We'll hold off on Vokun for now, but uh, let's see if we get these guys. Come on, I want Sedin, man. I want Sedin. Come on, come on. I need you, buddy. I need you, man. Oh, my God. You're tearing my heart out here. Going to make me have a heart attack, Sedin and Fanoof. Oh, man. We don't have the salary cap for Joe Pavelski. Is he still out there? No, he left. All right. Well, we didn't get Joe Pavelski because I kind of fucked that up. But, um... Yeah, and we can't get Vokun. He wants too much money. So, uh, we have 6.9 mil. Kind of fucked that up. Joe Pavelski went to New Jersey. Ugh. But, oh, well. Them's the breaks, I guess. So, uh, we'll simulate up to the beginning of the season here. 
So we didn't get Joe Pavelski, but we did get Henrik Sedin and Dion Phaneuf. Now, I don't think Sedin's going to be a mainstay on his team. He's way too expensive. And I don't think Phaneuf is... You know, Phaneuf might be a mainstay on the team. I mean, he's 89 overall, you know? I mean, I kind of wanted Vokun, but... We could always make that trade for a goalie if that's what's killing our team, so... And I think it's a successful free agency. We got Henrik Sedin and Dion Phaneuf, like amazingness that is phenomenal if anything i think that's a great free agency i mean i said i wanted to be competitive uh we're gonna be competitive i'm telling you that right now so uh we'll simulate up i'll just show you our players that are going to be playing because uh this is kind of amazing the fact that we have henrik sedin or was it daniel i think it was henrik sedin on our team so Jeez, man. Oh, I kind of fucked up with Pavelski. I kind of wanted Pavelski. Damn. Damn. But you know what? We might have to just make a trade for a second line center, maybe. But uh, other than that, I really think we're going to be good here. You know? I mean, jeez, Sadine, Like, are you kidding me? And I don't want to play Johnny T on the second line. I mean, he's a first liner, so we'll play Johnny T. Give him the minutes, you know? God, good God! I mean, oh my God! I can't get, I can't, I can't get over it. It's Sedin. Can you imagine Sedin playing for the Orange and Blue? Oh my goodness! Vokun's still out there. He is really expensive. No one's gonna want that contract. I'm telling you that right now. 85 overall goalie for seven million dollars. It's not worth it. I mean, I would pay, like, $7 million for, like, 87 and above, not an 85 overall guy that's just going to retire, you know? But I have confidence in John Gibson. We're going to enter the season with Johnny G as our number one, and this simulation is taking forever. Don't think we got to worry about salary cap this year, though, uh, being under the floor. I'll tell you that much. Josh Jiguer. So nobody signed Tomas Vokun because he's expensive as fuck. Uh, 38 wins. I could do that. Hopefully we'll be doing more. Stop. Simulation. Alright. So we'll uh, go into roster moves. I'll uh, bring the guys up that I need. So Reinhardt, you come up. Alright, let's look forwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, you go down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 10, so we need to bring up 2, so Wheel and Niederreiter can come up. Defensively, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you go down, and you go down. And goalies, Gibson and Pullen, yep. So, uh, let's see. We could have Tavares with Barch <coughs> and Sedin. So, uh, there's no second line center here. So we might have to make a trade for a center. Or we could put Sedin, Tavares, and Adam. Sedin, grab him to that. Kadri... Molson, Kadri, Yoensu, yeah. No scratches, right? Jordan Wheels, he's a four and a half star, so I really don't want to play or four stars, but we might have to play him. And uh, Fanuf, Reinhardt, uh, Simons. I mean, yeah, I really think that that really bolstered our team, so that'll be that. We'll go into the season in the next video, and uh, I'll see you guys. Well, yeah, we got to edit the lines and stuff, but I will see you guys then.